Yesterday, I did a video about how France is putting further pressure on Muslim women. Now, you might think that things in the United Kingdom are a lot better here. And well, yes and no. In one way, there are no bans on hijab wearing, of course. But in other respects, things are not so good. And I was reminded of this by a major headline in today's Sunday Times, and I'll link to it below the headline. I was sacked as a minister because I was a Muslim. Tory MP claims whips said her faith was making colleagues feel uncomfortable. This is an extraordinary uh, story, actually. And I'll just read um, some paragraphs from it. A Muslim Conservative MP has accused a party whip of telling her she was fired from her ministerial job because of her faith. Nusrat Ghani, 49, was sacked as a transport minister in a mini reshuffle early in 2020. She claimed she was told by a whip that her, quote, Muslimness was raised as an issue at a meeting in Downing Street and that her Muslim woman minister status was making colleagues feel uncomfortable, end quote. She added, it was like being punched in the stomach. I felt humiliated and powerless. Ghani, vice chairwoman of the 1922 Committee of Tory Backbenchers, claimed that she had kept quiet after being warned that if she continued to raise the matter, she would be ostracised by colleagues and her career and reputation would be destroyed. She said she had since considered whether she wanted to continue being an MP, adding, I will not pretend that this hasn't shaken my faith in the party. Ghani said, when the Prime Minister told me he wanted me to leave my government post in February 2020 reshuffle, I was surprised but understood that it was a fact of politics. She claimed, at the post reshuffle meeting with the whips, I asked what the thinking was behind the decision to fire me and what the mood music was then was when my name was mentioned in number 10 concerning the reshuffle. I was told that at the reshuffle meeting in Downing Street, Muslimness was raised as an issue, that my Muslim woman sta minister status was making my colleagues uncomfortable, and that there were concerns that I wasn't loyal enough to the party as I didn't do enough to defend the party against Islamophobia, Islamophobia allegations. She continues, when I challenged whether this was in any way acceptable and made clear there was little I could do about my identity, I had to listen to a monologue on how hard it was to define when people are being racist and that the party doesn't have a problem. And I needed to do more to defend it. It was very clear to me the whips and number 10 were holding me to a higher threshold of loyalty than others because of my background and faith, end quote. The Conservative MP for Wealdon in East Sussex, who in 2015 was the first Muslim woman to be elected as a Tory MP, had a second meeting with a whip in March 2020. She claimed... In this second meeting, I was again told that there was no Islamophobia in the party and, as if to add to the issue they had with me, I was told that I was in fact fired for apparently saying to the Prime Minister that we had a woman problem attracting female voters. In the following weeks, I was informed that if I persisted in raising this, I would be ostracised by colleagues and my career and reputation would be destroyed. And she continued, the feeling of isolation and powerlessness after this episode would not leave me and I raised it several more times through official party channels and with some colleagues. However, after the threats from whips, 
I was extremely careful to follow procedure. And when the procedure ran out of road, I had no choice but to get on with my career and make a difference for my constituents and for the issues I care about from the back benches." End quote. Now, what do her colleagues actually say publicly about this? Do they support her? Do her fellow conservative non-Muslim MPs support her or do they dismiss her as a, a complainer or a fantasist? What do they say? Well, in a tweet made yesterday by William Ragg MP, a conservative MP, who is the chair of the powerful Public Administration and Constitutional Affairs Select Committee, whose job it is to scrutinize the government, and he's the chair of this. What did he say? He said in a tweet just yesterday, Nuss is very brave to speak out. I was truly appalled to learn of her experience. She shows such strength and integrity supporting others. I am proud to have her as my friend and colleague. We must change things for the better. So that's a powerful message of support and endorsement that uh, this Muslim MP uh, has a real case to answer for, uh, from her colleagues and from the whips and the way she has been treated. And as the headline says, Nusrat Ghani, I was sacked as a minister because I was a Muslim. Be interesting to see how the government responds to this in the days coming. Till next time.